So, hello everybody, and welcome back to another video with the Backpack Player. Um, sorry for not been making any videos in a while. That is mainly because, as you see here, this is actually gameplay from our newest custom story that I am currently working on. Uh, as you may know, we'll, we uh, these are working with uh, hunting grounds and. Uh, I'm gonna talk about this mod. Uh, Tisa are working with Hunting Ground, so I have already started on building on this mod called uh, The Void. So far, we, if we come up with any better name, we may change the name. But for now, it's called The Void, and I just wanted to make a video about this um, and tell you what I've been up to. First of all, I'm working. Uh, mostly I work eight hours, seven, eight hours a day, and it takes time to get to the job <coughs> <coughs> and to get home from it. it. It takes like an hour to go to go there, and then it takes one hour to get home. Um, and that is one of the reasons why I haven't been able to upload any videos. Uh, but the main reason is, of course, that I'm working on this mod, and I put so much time and effort uh, into this. Um, if you watched my first video about the void, uh, I said to you guys that I wanted to create the feeling of uh, small and tight corridors and rooms to make to make it very uh, unsatisfied and uh, you know creepy because all of the small rooms and stuff like that um, yeah that that's basically what I said in the um, in the other video so um, I'm, I'm gonna talk about th this now and I have a couple of things that I want to talk to you about um, uh, if everything goes as we plan um, we're going to I'm just gonna say everything that we're gonna add in this mod. First of all, we're gonna have custom loading screens, which will uh, contains information about the mod, about the story, and stuff like that. Uh, second, uh, the lantern, as you saw, can be missed, but uh, it can be found in one of those areas that we are calling safe zones. Uh, basically, uh, safe zones is you really need that in a horror game because uh, if there are monsters all the time that are you know gonna come and try to kill you uh, after a time and stop being creepy. Also, we're gonna add a lot of monsters in this custom uh, mod. Uh, a lot of different monsters, so you know it's not just the same monster and. And after time, that will obviously be uh, not so scary anymore. So that's what we're gonna do. Uh, this is basically how a safe zone are going to look like. Uh, basically, it's just gonna be a room uh, where, and and in this room, you will be able to find, you know, laudanums or sanity potions or oil and stuff like that. But the main thing that you will know that this is a safe zone is that there will be. A kind of funny music playing and a voice that are talking to you um, and you will you will know when you are in a safe zone uh, the next thing uh, we wanted to add that I wanted to add is the uh, the side quest uh, I'm thinking of actually, I've, I've come up with two side quests for this so far and um, um, I can't tell you anything about that, but the side quest, of course, will not be necessarily for you to do uh, to progress with the main story. However, the side quest may give you information about other characters that can be interesting or add more to the main story, which is always good. Um, but, whoa, whoa, yeah, there were an enemy there. I didn't expect that. Um, but,. Um, of course, as a as a reward, we may add uh, you know 
oil or sanity potions or notes about the story as I just said uh, loud on them potions and I'm also thinking of adding a lot of you know unique areas uh, in the custom mod I don't know if I should show you all of this uh, I don't know how much I want I want to show you guys <coughs> and uh, yeah uh, also we have added we have used entities and um, uh, static objects from a machine for pigs as you can see these um, how do you say uh, yeah these um, these textures are from uh, machine for pigs and also I don't want to show you the monster he's right there so I may added that out so to say uh, so yeah also, um, we are in this one. We may try to do different things because, uh, as you may know, if you played our other custom stories, is that um, the only like puzzles or quests you have to do is to collect keys and crowbars and needles. In this one, we're gonna try to do something different, just as you know. Boom, boom. Uh, so yeah, we're gonna try to do something different with the uh, mod, uh, not just doing the same shit, finding keys and you know. So uh, that will be a challenge, at least for Tisa. What the fuck happened with the door? What it? The door just disappeared. Well, it's outside. I, I, I don't want to get smashed by it, so I'm going to go. Um. <coughs> so, what have I more to say? Well, yeah, side quest, I've said that. Uh, loading screens, custom loading screens, uh, custom monsters also. And for the story, I really try to work with uh, the story, uh, a lot of it in this custom story. Um, there's going to be every... Uh, the custom mods name the void uh, does really mean something in this. I can't tell you uh, anything about uh, the story, of course, because that's gonna be that's not gonna be good, as you understand. Um, I have been sick, so I haven't been able to work with a custom mod as much as I wanted to, um, and yeah, I have been working. And I've still been sick because I can't be home from work. Uh, I just can't. Uh, I need the money. <laughs> uh, yeah. So, um, and yeah. Um, uh, we, will, we will use flashbacks in this custom mod, which I think is going to be very, very, very interesting because we haven't used that uh, earlier. <clears throat> and of course, uh, this mod is going gonna, is gonna to have at least three endings one good and one bad and one unexpected I guess um, uh, and we are gonna try to make a boss battle we're gonna try we tried to do that in in painful memories but uh, it's we just ended up doing a survival area and then you were gonna escape from that area so yeah uh, I think that was I, that was everything that I had to talk about guys um, so, do not forget to show some love as you always do. It really helps me out, guys. And uh, feel free to check out my other videos, of course. And once again, I'm so sorry for not uploading as much as I wanted to. But uh, I'm, you know, my time goes to doing this and working. So, yeah. I hope you liked this video, guys. Peace out.